what's up Patrick Robocanian here with another video blog post today we're gonna talk about how to block bots with HC access and robot TXT and a lot of people like question me with is it like smart to block the PDNs will it cause a footprint whatever so I'm gonna answer all those questions and of course if you want to block your PBNs I have two files I have a robots and a HD access file you can use to block your PBNs instantly without any hassle and whatever so we're gonna go on with the first question is does it cause a footprint well it can someday maybe and that's if Google really develops an algorithm for it and just p penalizes all domains or sites that use HT access blocking and it may be a way to for them like to find PBNs and just penalize them but it would take time you know just like uh, to develop an algorithm so I know the SEOs are pretty paranoid with a lot of stuff what's happening right now so it can it can for anything there's always a footprint in anything whether you use PBNs or not there's always some kind of pattern that people can use or punish us on so you have two options basically it can someday be a footprint but it's not right now so you have two options options one is do not block them make your websites look like actual real websites that update their content so make sure that your competition even checks your site and be like wow this really looks like a, a legit website and it's possible you know because if you want to build them and you build them half ass and it's really really obvious and easy to see if it's a PBN then yeah I suggest you block them or option two is you block them to avoid getting busted by your competition because SEO is just a competitive market and people will do the you know the nastiest things to outrank you so you need to keep that in mind maybe you're not that guy that does that reports the whole PBN uh, at Google but people do this stuff so there are two ways not block them make them look like really good websites that you know they're not obviously PBNs or you do not or you do block them just to avoid like the risk of getting like penalized because your competition you know are basically assholes so that's basically it now I prefer to do a mix of them like some PBNs could be really really taken care of like they really look amazing and I don't block the bots because nobody in hell would think it, it would be a PBN so I do mimic that natural effect but I also block bots uh, on some of my PBNs just to just to avoid getting caught and the thing is like what I see is in affiliate SEO, especially affiliate SEO, you know, your competition is, is, is an asshole. Like, <laughs> because, you know, that's just a dirty game. You can make a lot of money and it's just a pissing game. Like, if you're on top, people are going to do their best to bring you down, whether it's negative SEO or report your links or whatever. So, affiliate, if you're in the affiliate field, be careful. I would block your bots more. You know and if you're in the local SEO area I find that people are like your competition isn't as nasty as as the affiliate marketing field so do it on your own risk and uh, you'll be probably you'll be fine and I don't think uh, there it's a footprint right now but there's always a chance that it can be a footprint just like using SEO hosting anyway I'm gonna show you how to block bots and it's super super easy actually it maybe takes you one minute depending on your internet connection but it's really easy you don't even have to look for the file anymore I have the two files I use on some of my PBNs to block bots and you can just download those files below this video but you'll have to share this video post and then it will unlock it and you, you're able to download it but now I'm gonna show you how to install it on your PBN so let's check it out so I already have 
the two files. So this is the robots file, right? It blocks all the user agents. And this is the HT access file. I mean, for the people like people that don't know how to code or program, this might look a little bit intimidating, but you do not have to focus too much on these codes and whatever because they're already pre ready, ready to be used. Also, there are a lot of plugins that block bots as well, and those may cause a bigger footprint than normal, but there are good bots out there. So you have Spider Spanker, you have a new plugin called Bot Nemesis. Uh, there are a few others. So if you would like to install the plugin, you can do that also, but this is purely, purely the HD access way system. So what you're gonna need is one, a PBN domain, obviously. Two, you're gonna need to download a program called FileZilla, it's a FTP client. So you're able to log in the database of your uh, domain, you know, where it's hosted at. So you're gonna need FileZilla, which is this, this uh, program. And then you're gonna connect real quick. I'm gonna show you. So we're connecting right now. And then this, this is where you'll uh, obviously end up on. Then you go to public HTML. This is for example purposes, by the way, guys. So this is my site right now, Serp Champion. So this is the root of the whole file, right? So this is basically what what every every domain or WordPress site has. This is the root. This is also the place you're gonna drop the robots file and the HT access file. So basically you're gonna do again just gonna select these oops you're gonna select these and you're just gonna paste them in boom obviously I already have an HD access file and stuff but let me test real quick if uh, if it works boom loads really fast too okay so when your site breaks it sometimes happens that people upload robots file and HD access files and the whole site breaks that's because the coding or something in that file isn't good or something is not structured well this one obviously works it even makes PBN size load even faster for some reason it's probably the robots file but it works it's just literally like one minute work. You need FileZilla, you need the files, you post them in the root of your domain and then you're set. Basically, that's it. So really, really easy. Anyone can do that. And uh, that's all great. So if you want to know more about PBNs, how to use them more effectively, and you wanna stay ahead of your competition and even in Google, I do have a webinar upcoming in a few days on Thursday and you need to click on the link www.serbchampion.com slash join and then webinar. Go sign up for this webinar because I'm gonna teach you a lot of awesome stuff that will separate your PBN or your SEO links from the rest and I know it's a, a little bit hypey what I'm saying right now, but just sign up. Only thing I need you to do is to attend and I will show you exactly what I do to keep my domains and PBNs alive and my rankings, you know, for, uh, my rankings steady and long lasting because that's all that we care about, right? Long lasting results, more traffic, effective links. In this webinar, I'm gonna show you a few things for free how to do it that will change your PBM business and then uh, it's gonna be really really fun so join me in a few days click on the link sign up and uh, I'm really excited to share you all this valuable information so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you soon later